Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we're doing the recording of 9th of September Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to feel that He's always there with us. That means the Supreme Energy, the Infinite Being is always with us. Now that is only possible when we are connected by the purest method. And for that to happen, we have to forget who we are. We have to become completely zero. We have to become completely nobody, no one as per the physical aspects of this body on this very earth. Because we are unlimited beings, we have come onto this earth and we have taken up these bodies to enact our role. But we have forgotten that the one who is playing the role is not the body, but one who is making the body play the role. That is the infinite energy, infinite soul or atma or what we call it in science as quantum field, quantum energy. So a metaphysical energy or you can call it anything. Now if you believe in it, that's for you. But if you believe in something which you cannot see and then practice it, that's also for you. So it's your choice. Seeing is believing or believing is seeing. But over here, it's believing is feeling it. That means you can feel the changes. You can feel how this energy works around you in a very beautiful way. Whether it's your finances, whether it's your health, whether it's your relationships, whether it's your mental and emotional state and every single thing. So God over here says, may you constantly experience the Father's hand of blessing on your head. Now God is not giving blessings in terms of the physical hand on your physical head. But these are blessings in terms of the right way of thinking. That means head means intellect, thinking, feeling. Emotions, everything is perfectly balanced. That is wisdom. So if you have your mind with thoughts and if you have your feelings taken care of and they are in balance, they are in tandem, then you are successful. Not the other way around where your thoughts are saying something else and your feelings are going haywire. So God then says, Blessings on your head and become a destroyer of obstacles in your life. So only those who have all powers can become destroyers of obstacles. That means, do I need to speak right now? I need to actually discern. I need to decide whether it's the right time to say the right thing, whether this is the right person to share everything, whether it's the right moment to open up the cards or not. So that discernment can come only when you have wisdom, when you are not feeling greedy about something, getting something quickly, fast, or when you are not in a hurry to prove yourself to somebody or when you're not supplicating to someone that you depend upon that person so much that you have to open up everything of yours to that person whether it be in a relationship whether it be in your profession whether it be in your workplace so god then says so always have this intoxication i am a master almighty authority i am a master almighty authority that means i am in control of my emotions and i'm in control of my thoughts Use each power at the appropriate time. No matter in how many forms Maya comes to you, that means people might try to put you down, try to bring you down, try to pull you towards their ways of doing things or try to force you to do things. But you are calm and composed and you are completely in control of your thoughts and emotions. Because emotions are certain things which can be swayed by people. People can certainly make you feel greedy. People can make you feel a sense of loss. People can make you feel that if you don't do it right now, then you are going to lose it forever. And there are going to be so many negative aspects to it. So God says, no matter in how many ways Maya, now this is Maya, comes to you, you have to remain knowledgeful. Stay in the combined form that I am only going to take the decision on the basis of what my Supreme Creator tells me or guides me to do. By experiencing the Father's hand and His company, every day at Amrit Vila, bring into your awareness the tilak of victory. That means when we are practicing soul consciousness early in the morning, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, 4.30, and we are practicing soul consciousness, we are practicing completely detached from this physical aspect of which is a body and when we are detached completely that's the time we can see things beyond our five senses that's the time when we can understand people we can understand situations beyond our five senses and we can get a feel of the life which we're going to have in the future and we can dictate what's going to happen in the future that's going to happen only in the morning god then says every day at amrit Vila, bring into your awareness the tilak of victory experience having bab dada Bab Dada's hand of blessings on your head and you will become a destroyer of obstacles and be constantly carefree. 
Now this is not a literal physical hand but this can be a metaphysical hand or rays of power or rays of quantum energy or you can say an impulse of quantum field, an impulse of quantum energy directed completely onto you. But for that to happen you have to have complete trust, complete love and complete submission to that infinite field and that can only happen when you have love and you have belief in whatsoever we are being talking about over here. How do you generate that belief? How do you increase that belief is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. That's your day one. You start understanding the non-physical aspect of you, the non-physical aspect of your living and feeling in this world. And when you go beyond your five senses, a new world opens up for you. How do you do that? How do you find out about that? Join Brahma Kumaris and understand it in details. Or contact me with this Om Shanti.